Hello, this is Jesse Mainfinger Gregory from uh, WingDamage.com. Um, I oh wow, well, that's a lovely picture of my face. Um, I'm loading up a uh, Super Robot Tizen OG Saga Endless Frontier. I'm gonna go over the battle system a little bit to accompany my review of the game. And uh, this is the first video I've recorded of DS, so this is gonna be extremely awkward as I position this tripod around myself. But luckily it's an RPG, so hopefully I'm doing okay. Um, so one of the interesting things about this game, if we can look at the other screen, is that I actually have eight active characters in my party at, a, at the same time. Um, basically this front row is who I'll actually be controlling directly. And that's uh, the one on the left hand side here. And then the back row are people that I'll be able to call in for special support attacks, which I'll get into when I actually get into a battle. So I'm just going to walk around a little bit and get him into a battle. Which shouldn't take long battles, they're pretty frequent in this game usually. Okay, here we go. So this battle system is a very, very weird one. Um, so, okay, they're gonna get the first attack here. So we have kind of a Final Fantasy X-esque uh, list here. If you see the next character, one, two, three, four, we can actually see who whose turn it's going to be next. Um, so the first character, that's going to be one of mine, that's going to be an enemy, one of mine, and then another enemy. That's all based on their speed stats. Um, so basically you just, you choose, uh, if you can do a normal attack, you want to choose one of, one of the characters to attack. I'm going to attack the guy who's going to attack me next, so he's a pirate scout. And this uh, battle system is based on doing... Uh, juggle combos, essentially. It's a very interesting mechanic for an RPG. Uh, you basically build a playlist of about five attacks. You get more as you progress through the game, and uh, you can put these in any order you want, and you have this bar, so yes, it's calm 100%. Each of these attacks, you can do up to five in a single turn, and each of them will take a certain amount. We can actually go into the menu and view the uh, attacks. See, I have these different ones, 15, 35, 20, 15, and 20. I have them so that they'll equal out to about 100%, and uh, that way I can do all five if I have all of my calm. So we'll just go ahead and show you what one of those looks like. This is all about timing. You're just hitting the A button at the exact right time to keep him in the air, and every time you see that exclamation point flash, that uh, is when he hits the ground, and that gives him the chance to do what's called um, a forced evasion, which can completely halt my attack, and it will block all the, the attack that's currently going on, unfortunately. So you want to keep the guy in the air as much as possible, which again is based completely on uh, timing your attacks at the right moment. And that uh, giant mech that you saw come in, that's the guy from my back row, and uh, hey, that this two out of two number that you see, you can call in your back row guys two times per a character's turn. Um, so I use one of those by just simply hitting the left D-pad um, amongst my A button presses to call him out. And that actually takes a little bit of SP, which is basically just MP. Um, let's see, who's going to attack next? Deep Sea Fish. So I'm going to attack Deep Sea Fish. But uh, let's take a look at... Uh, skills. You can, these are basically, or sorry, spirits. These are basically uh, your magic moves that you can do. And what's weird about these is that, uh, you know, if you want to do like a healing thing or something like in a normal RPG that would normally take your turn. Well, on this it doesn't. It actually just takes your SP and your, uh, you can use it as many times as you want when, as long as you still have SP. So, if all you guys are almost dead, you could use a small healing move just over and over again and still have a whole turn left to go, which is really a very strange mechanic. Now, if I wanted to go and use uh, items, these actually have uh, calm. Some of them don't use calm, they say 0%, but uh, some of them say 10, 20, 30. So using items will take these segments of your calm, which you get back once it's your turn again, you get some of that back, but it doesn't necessarily fill back up to 100%. But there's actually uh, spirit moves and uh, items that you can get to help uh, refill your calm back up. 
So anyway, we're just going to attack this deep sea fish. And see that icon on the left of the girl's face, on the right hand side, um, bottom corner? That's my support character that's going to be next in the queue. They, they come out in an order that cycles through. And I can actually call them out at any time during this attack. I just usually end up calling them out at the end in case I don't actually need them to finish off the guy. Um, another thing here, if we, can, if we can get some consecutive turns. Here we go. Where it says I got two people coming up. So I can actually call out um, my next character that's a normal character rather than a support character, front row character. And that way, what this allows me to do is some characters will actually be blocking my moves, and so I'll have to block, or I'll have to be hitting them through their blocks before they'll start flying up into the air. And uh, that way I can call a guy in like this and have him start attacking with his five attacks instead, and that way they're still in the air. And uh, not only will this help uh, get rid of enemies who are blocking, but it'll also help uh, build up this frontier gauge, which is in the corner here at 79% right now. And basically what that is, is a uh, giant, like essentially like a limit break or something, but it's shared for the entire party. So everybody, when they take damage and give damage, it fills up, and it also gets used up. Um, if you use it once, it, no matter who it's with, it'll drop the entire gauge back down to zero. Um, so I will just, I'm going to use an item to help uh, fill this gauge up, because that's another thing. that uh, There's pretty much items for every kind of thing that you can fill up. So what I'm going to do here is just fill up my little bar here, just so I can show you what a frontier gauge move looks like. And so basically you can initiate it at any point in your combo, um, but you use it with the Y button. I'm just going to go ahead and start it so this guy doesn't die before I use it, but they get uh, kind of a fancy looking... Uh, the way they uh, incorporate the like little anime sequences is uh, pretty well done. It's all pretty seamless. So this is obviously going to be a lot of overkill, but... He was going to die anyway, and I wanted to show off the move, so... Anyway, so keeping them in the air will uh, help you to get... Um, fill that bar faster, if you... Because you'll get a combo for how many points you've filled up. Anyway, that's the basics of the battle system, and you can find the full review at uh, wingdamage.com if you aren't already there.